With the Zika virus spreading locally in 33 countries and territories across the Americas, health officials called a summit at the National Centers for Disease Control today to make sure the U.S. is prepared as the summer approaches. The threat of locally acquired cases in the U.S. is rising along with the temperatures. Meg Terrell reports from Atlanta. When you think of Key West, Florida, you probably picture a scenic vacation spot. But for Billy Ryan, who's on the front lines of the country's battle with the Zika virus, it's anything but glamorous work. And unbelievable, I don't think it's breeding. Zika is primarily carried by mosquitoes, the Aedes aegypti in particular. And Key West, the U.S.'s southernmost point, has been battling this bug for years. In addition to the Zika virus, the aegypti can carry dengue and chikungunya, both of which have popped up in Florida. Most places haven't had to work with the disease issue, so we, we entirely shifted our paradigm six or seven years ago, and Zika is, is yet another disease that we're trying to um, keep these mosquitoes away from. At the CDC summit in Atlanta, Director Dr. Tom Frieden said the risk of Zika is greatest for pregnant women. The virus is linked to a birth defect called microcephaly that has already affected hundreds of babies in Brazil. The CDC advises pregnant women not to travel to countries where Zika is spreading and advises men who have traveled to those areas to be vigilant about sexual transmission of Zika to their partners. Work is also underway to develop better diagnostic tests for Zika, in addition to therapeutics and vaccines. Though Frieden warns, it'll take time. The vaccine is going to take, even in the best case, a couple of years if it works out. Uh, we need to move fast because the mosquitoes uh, multiply rapidly and the risk is significant and not far from now in terms of the summer months coming. That's why it is a race against time. Officials here emphasize a need for funding that Congress hasn't yet allocated. The White House has asked for $1.9 billion in emergency Zika funds, but some in Congress say that unused emergency funds for Ebola should be shifted to Zika instead. As that debate brews, local health departments head home from Atlanta with new plans for Zika preparedness. They may look something like the work Billy Ryan does every day. The Aedes aegypti mosquito lives close to people and can breed almost anywhere you might find water. Okay, this is breeding mosquitoes. I can see the larva without my glasses. A lifelong native of Key West, for Ryan, being a mosquito control district inspector is about protecting his neighbors. I've been doing this for 11 and a half years in this area, so I know everybody out here just about. It's work that never ends. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell in Atlanta.